Here looking at HP's new releases, CES 2025, we have two new Elite Book models as well as a new Z-Book. Awesome lineup here from HP for the more prosumer creator category. A lot of performance packed into some really nice thin and light form factors. Now, first and foremost, the one I want to check out is, of course, the Elite Book X. We have both a clamshell version and we have a two-in-one model for the same laptop. So you have great options here for both devices. Super thin and light. I love the aluminum chassis. Really great build quality. Feels really smooth, nice rounded edges. So the design and build on these is great. That's something that the Elite Books have continued to step up the game. So this is the first generation of this redesigned model. We have manual click trackpads for these devices. The reason I point that out is because we have the Elite Book Ultra here, and this is a haptic trackpad. So we wanna take a step up from the X models. We have the haptic trackpad. We have all Thunderbolt ports on this device, so you don't have to figure out, okay, which one is Thunderbolt. All these are Thunderbolt on the device, and you also have a USB type A in case you still have some old peripherals hanging around that still have USB A, because I know I do. Uh, also headphone jack, and again, really nice thin and light chassis. Now another thing to point out that I didn't want to forget is the uh, EliteBook Ultra is equipped with Polycom and it has a nine megapixel camera. So it's gonna have a great audio, microphone, and uh, the camera. So you'll look great on uh, your web calls uh, with the EliteBook Ultra. So these two models are Intel Core Ultra, the Elite Books. Now moving over to the Z Book. For this device, it's the AMD Ryzen AI Max Pro. I reviewed the Max recently. This is a level up from that device. That device with the integrated graphics is promising an RTX 4060 or 4070 in performance. We're gonna see some great results out of these devices in 2025. Um, you're taking thin and light performance that's also battery efficient on the go with you and you're having you know, 3D modeling level performance in something so on the go friendly. It's incredible. This is not as thin and light as say something like the Elite Book Ultra, but honestly, when you have this much performance, you want a little bit of room to have that chassis be able to get cooled down. For me, I'm not obsessed with super thin and light. I want great performance on the go friendly and great build quality. So definitely keep that in mind, but still, I mean, it's still a nice thin chassis. It's nothing thick or chunky. Now this one does have the manual click trackpad. So if you're somebody looking for a haptic trackpad, definitely gonna wanna refer you to the Elite Book Ultra. This is going to be a much more of a pro workstation, uh, has the performance you need. It's gonna also get great battery life. That's something that we're seeing with the new AMD processors. They are getting great battery life, but also very powerful. Now another thing that they pointed out in the booth is actually a last generation, they stopped throwing the ZBook logo on the front. We just have the classic HP logo uh, to keep all the branding aligned. And one thing I really like that's standing out to me is we have the different color, so kind of the dual color keyboard deck. We have this darker gray sitting behind the keys. I like the trackpad, it's extremely quiet, and then the keys have really nice key travel. So overall great design from HP. Another crazy thing about the ZBook Ultra, I actually misspoke while at the booth at CES, you can order it with up to 128 gigs of RAM. Okay, one thing I wanted to sneak in here was something that HP is launching with their printers. So it's HP's Print AI. And before you get thrown off by the AI, just, just hang in there. First, I know we've all been frustrated with going and trying to print something like this recipe, and it's just all this googly gop. It's ads, it's intros, it's pictures that look ridiculous. And so what they've done is they've put together a software using AI that helps you piece out what you want to print. You can even you know, set it up to print two-sided if you want, and so that's super handy. But if you just wanted the ingredients, the directions, and the end result picture, that is what you can do with HP's Print AI. So I wanted to throw that in there if you're considering picking up a printer, this will be available on HP, and it definitely is something to consider if you're wanting to be more efficient, save paper, save time, and frustration. Normally, I wouldn't be jumping up and down, but something that they pointed out here, which I think is really cool, is the dock has a barrel charger connected to it. If you have something really powerful like a Z-Book that you don't want to constrain your device, with just simply USB-C charging. The barrel is attached. You get the full power draw from the dock and you have all of your ports. You can hook into multiple monitors, but with just these two connectors. So keep your desk super clean uh, with this awesome dock from HP. 
All right, definitely want to keep an eye out for the HP Omen. I did a full review of the new Omen Max 16. I definitely check it out. Click the top of the screen here if you want to check that out. And there's tons of more content from CES. I tried to group things together more to make it a little more digestible this year. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the next video.